Oh my. If you flipped my switch, that can only mean one thing. You're desperate for the premiere of my new body. How rude. Lucky for you, I've been aching to show this off for a very long time. So as thanks, I'll give you a handsome reward. I'll make your last living moments absolutely beautiful. Listen, darling, I've seen you fight. You're weak. If you continue, Asgore will take your soul and with your soul. Asgore will destroy humanity. But if I get your soul, I can stop Asgore's plan. I can save humanity from destruction. Then using your soul, I'll cross through the barrier and become the star I've always dreamed of being. Hundreds, thousands, no, millions of humans will watch me. Glitz, glamour, I'll finally have it all. So what if a few people have to die? That's show business, baby. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains, train A and train B, simultaneously depart tra station A and station B. Station A and station B are 252.5 miles apart from each other. Train A is moving at 124.7 miles per hour towards station B, and train B is moving at 253.5 miles per hour towards station A. If both trains departed at 10am and it is now 10.08, how much longer until both trains pass each other? Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? A. Undyne, B. Asgore, C. The Human, and D. You don't know. A. Undyne. C. Alphys, I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together, sharing her domestic life. Probability of a crush? 101%. Correct. Dr. Alphys has a crush on the unknowable, you see. Alphys believes there is someone out there, someone watching her, someone she thinks is cute and interesting. Hello, theoretical person. Dr. Alphys likes you. Too bad you're not real. 